What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are finally, finally, we're back with surgery, man. It's it's time. It is absolutely time. It's been long enough, man. The reason that it's been so long for surgery is really just because the 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 office has been a damn. It looked like a damn bomb blew up, man. I couldn't find figures. How, how can you fix up figures if you don't? Like usually, how I would identify and do figure surgery is I would look around the room and ideas would just hit me in the brain. But if I can't see my collection, if it's all stacked in boxes and looks like shish, how the hell am I supposed to fix it up, Brad? So we're finally back, man. Very very excited to get Dr. Whitekus back in the lab. It's going to be a good one. We got some good bangers in here. We got some Elite 106 represented. We got some other things going on. And I don't know if certain projects are going to be able to be finished because I'm struggling with a certain part idea and I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys that. But I'm excited, man, because we got some stuff on here that I've been wanting to do for a, for a while. And I think it's going to be sweet. I'm excited for it, man. Of course, now that we have this next episode of surgery, now we can get the flow going. And since the flow will be going, we can just keep pumping out action figure surgery. But you guys know how it works. We're going to be getting into what we're going to do today on surgery and then of course we will dive into that said surgery one by one and showcase how to do it and then of course display the results at the end and I can't wait to dive into more surgery. This is episode what 90 so we're very very much approaching episode 100 but let's shut the hell up. Start off with the guy on the stretcher and the guy on the stretcher is going to be one of my favorite elites of the year and that is going to be the Dolph Ziggler from the SummerSlam wave. I love this figure man. Jesus. So this figure right here I had a great idea and I want to say I've seen this before, but I can't remember who did it. And I, maybe it was a few people. I can't remember, man. But we're going to take this Ziggler right here, and we're going to fix him up with some clothing. You guys know I love clothing. I mean, who doesn't? It covers all the genitals. But over here, we have Orange Cassidy. I have seen people take this jean jacket and put it on Dolph Ziggler. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Brad, there's a Best Friends logo right there. How, how are you going to do that? And I'm not just going to acetone it off. I'm going to cut this jacket into a jean vest, and it'll look like the denim vest that Dolph Ziggler has worn the ring over his career. Now, when he pops up back in AEW, first of all, I'd like to see an AEW Unrivaled figure of, of said character, but a Dolph Ziggler Unrivaled figure would be great, or even hell, a Supreme would be dope, but that's, uh, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be, what'll come first, a Dolph Ziggler Supreme or My Damn Nation? Nonetheless, we're gonna be cutting this jacket and putting it on this Ziggler, and I think it's gonna be fire, so that is the first thing that we're gonna do today. White Trusty Hairdryer also returns today, so that's epic. Nonetheless, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is I actually have one of these Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper head sculpts. It's one of my extras. And I'm going to be putting it on this old Roddy Piper Elite because I don't like this head sculpt. Like, it's not bad. Like, I like the new Ultimate Edition yelling head sculpt, but I kept that on the Ultimate Edition. I'm going to be putting this smirking Roddy head sculpt onto this old Elite right here, and I think it's going to look pretty fire. Very simple, very sweet, very short and nice. I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal, but it's going to make this figure look a lot better. You see how realistic the Ultimate looks compared to this cartoony version? And I know the hair is a little longer. Actually, this hair piece on this would actually look kind of cool, but that's not going to work because this is actually sculpted on and this is sort of just glued on or whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to shut the hell up and keep going. Next up, we have... What else we got? Okay, yeah. Another head swap. We have the Elite 106. I saw a lot of people saying that the uh, Shorty G head sculpt looks better than the Chad Gable. Well, we're going to find the hell out today, man, because we're going to put this over here on the new Elite 106 and I think that's going to be a sick fix-up. I'm actually really excited to see what that looks like. So we're going to do a head swap over here. Just a traditional head swap. Sometimes the traditional stuff is what makes the world go round, but then you get into those Frankenstein efforts, and that's really what gets the blood going. Next up, we do have, okay, let's get into LA Knight over here, because LA Knight, I have an idea here. I want to turn this guy, as great as this basic is, I really would like to turn him into an elite figure, but I was struggling with formulas, but then we enter Dingo Football Warrior, and this looks pretty much money. I mean, this is like the exact same thing. The only thing is, LA Knight is 6'1", and I think Ultimate Warrior was 6'2", or 6'3", which isn't the biggest deal. However, I cannot think of any damn lower legs to go on this guy. So, uh, I, I played around with different ideas. I didn't like any of them. They didn't really make sense. So, what I'm going to do today is we're going to head swap and we're going to remove all the accessories and just kind of look at what he looks like. And then, I, I don't know, man. I was playing around with different stuff here. So, I had like three different options over here that we can explore real quick. So, we had uh, this Rick Boogs I was thinking about doing. thought about using this Rusev, but they were way too long of legs. And then we had this old Chad Gable over here that I thought might work, but I feel like they may be too strumpy. So I don't freaking know, man. I just didn't like any of the formulas. So we're just going to get the basis started and then maybe we'll play around with that. So we'll just see what comes of that project. But we're going to do like a kind of an elite conversion, see what that looks like. I also thought about doing the Paul Orndorff elite, but then that quickly 
kind of vaporized and stuff. So I don't, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna just play around some more. But nonetheless, here, man, let's move on. We also have a really cool Roman Reigns fix up that I want to do, and uh, it's gonna be starting off with this figure. And I know it looks dumb right now, but just just bear with me. I know he's yelling. We're gonna be taking these three Romans and creating sort of a fix up promo gear style Roman, which we're gonna get into. Can't believe we never got the white head of the table shirt. Damn it! But we have this Elite Fifty Six fix up Roman Reigns, which is a classic. We have this. This Bloodline white shirt, like, I don't know, I don't know what elite this is. I mean, I have so many Roman elites, but we're going to take this ponytail head sculpt, which isn't completely accurate. It still looks pretty good, though. We're going to put it on this, this Roman. We're going to remove this gauntlet, and then we're going to put the Nike boots on here. So it's going to be like kind of a promo gear Roman with the white outsoles, and it's going to look sick. I promise you. Yeah, if you didn't get what I was talking about, you're going to see it at the end, and you're going to be like, oh, damn, that actually does look good. So just bear with me. I promise it's going to be fire. Next up. We do have some Usos. We got some good stuff going on here. We're going to be kick pad swapping this this beautiful Elite 104 AJ Styles and this god awful Elite what 77 AJ? No, Elite what was this? The SummerSlam Elite maybe? No, Survivor Series. This is last year's Survivor Series Elite AJ Styles. This is a god awful figure. It's not god awful, but Jesus, this is so much better. We're gonna kick pad swap these. We're gonna kick pad swap these, and it's gonna look sweet. I know it's a very subtle difference, but just look at the kick pads and how they how they're inverted. It's going to be black kick pads with red instead of red kick pads with black. So that's going to be, that's going to look nice. That's going to look nice, I promise. So that'll be fire. And then we're also going to be putting the Elite 106 head sculpt Jimmy onto the Ultimate Edition Jimmy and putting the yelling Ultimate, or I mean, that's that's an old Jimmy head sculpt. I'm going to put this screaming head on this and then we're going to cut Jay Uso's shirt to look like the Jay Uso style. So it's going to be like the crop top look. So we're going to cut that with some scissors just like we're going to cut Dolph Ziggler's head clothes. So, uh, just got some fix-up Usos right here. Should be easy. Money, live better, Walmart, all that stuff. But let's shut the hell up and get this surgery started, shall we? All right, man, let's, so let's get into this surgery. I really don't know where to begin. I feel like, I don't know, let's just start this shish off. Like, obviously, you know, we like to keep it 100, and you guys know that it's been like three months since I've done surgery, so I feel like my hands are gonna pay the price here today with this heat and stuff, but I don't know, let's, like, I guess, let's just start things off with our Dingo Warrior and our LA Knight. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this head off, and I'm going to, I guess, like, slide the bicep bands off right here. Uh, nothing too crazy, like, obviously, I don't know, the the red wrist tape is weird, and I, I don't know, like, I, the, my Dirt Cheap actually has, like, 60 of this Dingo Warrior for, like, $7, so, uh, I think this is my only Dingo Warrior, but I really don't have an issue sacrificing him to the Shadow Realm, but, uh, these things, I don't know if these are gonna even come off. I'm gonna, like, pull this off right there, and then pull that off, and then hopefully this can, like, slide off, maybe? I don't freaking know. I really wish that I had some lower legs to put on this guy, because he's, he's got pinned joints, so it all makes sense to convert this into an L to an LA Knight. Like, it just makes the most sense. And I could do, like, a promo gear, maybe, or make one out of an Elias or something, possibly. But then he wouldn't have double-jointed arms. I kind of really wanted, like, double-jointed arms. So I don't know. I may play around with that. I, I don't know. Maybe, like, what figure is that? Maybe, like, Elite... Is it Elite 73, Elias? Actually, the more I think about it, that's probably some shit that I need to do. I, I need to go over there and find that figure, man. What the hell are we messing around? I may get this, and then at the end, maybe, I don't know, we'll, maybe I can find that figure, but this is a really good basis for create a superstar, by the way. If you guys want to make, like, a random guy, this is a great base for that. Look at that right there. It just looks like a random guy, but let's just pop this over here and see what this looks like. Like, that's not half bad right there. God, he looks jacked as hell. Good lord. He looks like Shazam. Look at him. Shazam! I think the... <laughs> I think this head sits too low on this neck or something. I don't know. He looks ridiculous. I gotta find that damn Elias Elite or something, man. I don't know. We'll look at him at the end. You guys can be the judges at the end, I guess, but, you know, Dingo Knight over here, like, this, you know what, Ultimate Warrior in this era looks like every murderer from the 70s, I don't know. Anyways, man, let's get into our next business, let's take all these rubber bands over here, let's put this over here, we'll, we'll dive into the LA Knight fix up here in a minute, I don't think the Shorty G head sculpt can just pop off, unfortunately, so that's kind of crap, yeah, that's not popping off, this, however, does pop off, so all we have to do is lay that 
in the way right there. And the Ultimate Edition Roddy Piper head sculpt also is interchangeable. So the white trusty hair dryer just has to take care of this business, which is these two head sculpts. And not only that, what else do we need to do? The AJ Styles kick pads, the Roman Reigns, those heads are interchangeable. So we really just need to heat up their boots, which is actually not that hard to do. So we'll put these right here and then we'll take our other Roman Reigns and we will put these right here. I mean, that's pretty good right there. I think that's going to be nice. I don't trust the AJ Styles kick pads really, to be honest. And actually, now that I say that, I think I don't I have to pop this head sculpt off. I think I do, man. And to do that, like, I don't think I made this interchangeable. I did not. What a freaking idiot. So that means, you know what that means? We have to undress this guy. So we have to take all of this stuff off. How did I even get that necklace on that guy? How did that necklace even get on there? So we have to remove all of this stuff. This shirt doesn't even have Velcro. So we're gonna have to unplug the daggum arms. Unplug the arms. I mean, I have to freaking... How did I get this on here? Because it's not coming off with the head on there. Oh my god, this long AF hair. You're gonna have to pull this over the freaking... Oh my lord in heaven. What have we done, man? I am mangling this. Custom painted head sculpt looks good, though. You gotta pull that over that. You gotta get this over all of this. Oh my Jesus. I definitely should have made this interchangeable. Why didn't I do that? Probably didn't have an exacto knife. And now that I think about it, I don't think I did. I really need to go buy a new one. Should put that on the Christmas list. So here it is, and it's so close, but he's also got that Degum necklace that if I wanted to get the necklace off, it would have to go through the same rigmarole just to get this off. Good God in heaven. I just didn't want to heat that up with the shirt on there. It melts the graphics and it makes it all weird. So there is that. Now, that would be so funny if it just popped off. I don't think I made it interchangeable, but we're going to have to heat this up with the necklace on there. There's really no ways around that. So we're going to have to put that there and then that there. And I don't think, I, I just don't believe that we could get the AJ Styles kick pads off as well. So I'm just going to roll with the white trusty hair dryer over here. And uh, we're just going to live with that business. That's just what we're going to have to do. And then we're just going to have to be steadfast on because, oh God. Anyways, let's just shut the hell up and heat this thing up. All right, fellas, here we go. Let's get, uh, probably need to start off with the head sculpts because I don't think the boots, and oh my God in heaven, that is fire right now. Oh, I remember this era. Before they were interchangeable, the neck, the, the holes of the head sculpts were like microscopic. You remember that era? Horrific era. You don't want to live in that era. Look at that. That is horrific. But the good thing about new figures is the other ones just pop on there. So we're going to just, oh man. Well, this ain't coming off, Brad. I ain't got an exacto knife. So, oh my God in heaven. Ugh. All right, we'll take a look at him at the end. He can go over there with LA Knight's Jack Shazam ass looking self. And then we're going to pop the smiling one over here. I think this is actually going to look pretty good. So we'll pop that over there. Elite 106 looking pretty fire. Again, we'll look at him at the end. Uh, what else we got over here? Oh, yeah, we got to pop off, pop off Jimmy's head sculpt over here. Jesus in heaven. Hold up. All right, get that off. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah, the Elite 106. All right, that'll be, thank God, that'll be interchangeable. So this can pop on here. This will be the Elite 106. Hold up. All right, I'm going to leave this off because we got to put the guy's clothes back on. But we can pop this on the Elite 106 body. And again, I really wish I could make this interchangeable, but not something we can really do at this juncture. So Elite 106 Jimmy is getting that treatment. And that should look okay because uh, I like that yelling head sculpt. Even though he's yelling, I th you know, it's, it's, it's worked for a while. So we will take a look at him shortly. And then what else we got? We got to uh, put his clothes back on. Oh, yeah, Roddy Piper. Jesus. Okay. Roddy Piper and then the boot swap. So, oh, my God. Dude, this is... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that sounded awful, but it actually worked, so it's good. And then we have our Roddy Piper Ultimate Edition head sculpt we're going to pop on here. Hopefully, it doesn't sit too high. We'll pop that on there. We'll look at that at the end, of course, see if that actually works or if it looks like trash. We will have to see. We'll take a look at that at the end. Hopefully, it doesn't look like dog crap. And then uh, this can go away. Don't really need that. And then Boot Swap, Elite 56 Roman Boot. Boom. Boom. And then going over here to this Roman. Urgh. I need to pop that up in there. I need to put I need to put these boots in the other boots, but oh god. These freaking pegs are gonna be flimsy as hell. 
Oh, it actually worked. What you usually like to do is heat up the hole and then keep this hard. Yeah, you heard what I said. So you do that and it would push up in there, but I think that, that's actually gonna work. Okay, that's good. All right, so the next order of business for this, I really wish this Roman had a had a watch on there. Oh yeah, I gotta put the other boots onto this this old AF Roman Reigns. Ugh, I can't believe that actually went in there. That's kind of crazy. I remember when he, that Elite 56 Roman, I loved that figure, man. It had like the first like kind of pissed off Roman or like the good looking Roman head skull. That was a time to be alive. Then the Elite 65 Roman was fire. Just what a great day. Okay, so now on this Roman, we're going to pop this hand out, pop this gauntlet off, throw that over there, put this back on, and then we're going to pop off the screaming head sculpt, and then we're gonna pop on the man bun head sculpt. And we can put this yelling one on this head of the table one, just for, it's just bonus, that's all it is. We can, yeah, I got a lot of Romans, so just, you know, we're mixing and matching here, so this is gonna be kind of our new, not our new promo, but I did, I did want to make this fix up, so we'll look at him at the end. I think you guys are gonna be pretty surprised by the way that looks. All right, so there's that Roman, and then now we need to, I guess, let's heat up our AJ Styles, but I guess before we heat up our AJ Styles, we can go ahead and dress up our, uh, our Jimmy Uso over here with the Elite 106 head sculpt, because I think this is gonna look pretty damn good. We'll pop this on here. God, this is so much better than, like, having interchangeable head sculpts. What a, <laughs> we're living in just blessed times. So pop that in there. Good. Wait till everything's interchangeable, then it's over. Maybe that'll be by episode 100. No, I'm kidding. Put the necklace on, put the Jimmy head sculpt on, and then uh, at the end, you guys can see what he looks like all dressed up all together there. So we'll, we'll take a look at that shortly. But until we do that, we do need to heat up our kick pads of this AJ Styles, and I think that's the last thing we have to do besides cutting our Dolph Ziggler jacket from Orange Cassidy and our Jay Uso crop top shirt. And then I'm gonna go over there and look for that Elias Elite and see if we can make that LA Knight or whatever, and then and uh, I guess we can take a look at what we've done here, but uh, we gotta shut the hell up and switch these god awful kick pads. All right, Brad, let's see what comes of it here. I'm gonna put the white trusty hairdryer on the ground because hopefully we won't need him again today. Oh my God, it is so hot and, mm, oh my Lord, man. It's so crap, like not only getting, the, getting these off is really like the worst part. All right, I got the one. I think the best method is to like pinch it and like kind of fold it like a damn, like your, like crawfish or something, you know? But then just, oh my Lord in heaven. Got that one. Lord in heaven again. Ugh. And then similar to the, the Roman Reigns, like, popping these in here is gonna just be terrible. It went, though. I mean, that's... That's it. That AJ's done. Now we gotta get the Elite 104 done. God, this Elite 77. I hated this figure. It's not Elite 77, moron. It's the damn Survivor Series. Get it right. All right, back to this one with the red faces. And the reds are slightly different. They're not completely the same, but I think they're still gonna be okay. And I have multiples of this figure, and I hate that Survivor Series figure, so it really is not... I'm not gonna lose a wick of sleep. A wick of sleep. That's what I said. A wick of sleep. All right, now all we have to do is dress up Jimmy and cut Jay's and Ziggler's shirts. All right, man, here is Jay's shirt. Oh, my God. Here's Jay's shirt that we're gonna be cutting, and then we gotta get Ziggler's shirt, or not Ziggler's shirt, but Orange Cassidy's shirt in here, and we're just gonna, I guess, peel this off the guy, and then, like, I have, like, seven of these. For what? Why do I have seven of these? Can't even pose his god dang legs. But, I mean, this should be relatively simple, man. I mean, cutting that off right there, and then... Yeah, this is gonna be easy money. Anyways, let's shut the hell up. I got the, I got some just random scissors over here. We're gonna be cutting this, and I gotta make sure this is all lined up nicely. All right, I don't remember exactly where to cut this, but hopefully it won't be that bad. Dude, as I was cutting that, I forgot that it had that Velcro strip on it. Oh my Jesus. Well, I'm gonna put this on Jay and hopefully it doesn't look... Yeah, I almost rhymed it. I actually think it turned out all right. You guys can see it in a second. But now, we gotta cut the sleeves off of this and then we have to uh, cut the white shirt out of here and hopefully it won't be that bad. All right, man, well, we cut our shirts. I'm gonna go over there and look for that Elias, and then I'll be back here for everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. 
All right, guys, so here's everything we did on WWE Action Figure Surgery today. Now, I couldn't find the Elias, so we're just gonna live with Shazam LA Knight for now. So I apologize, but this turned out spectacular. This Dolph Ziggler looks fantastic, man. I love this. Look how clean this is, man. That denim vest with this specific basic head sculpt. Now, the ponytail head sculpt would look good, too, but this basic head sculpt with the longer hair, the denim vest, the cutoff slit. Dude, look at that, dude. It looks amazing. I am very, very... Very pleased with the way this turned out. That, I mean, this, this couldn't have turned out better. I, I love this Dolph Ziggler. This is sweet as hell. It made a, a fantastic figure even better. So I'm all aboard the Dolph Ziggler trend right there. That looks amazing. So the Dolph Ziggler, I, I literally am giddy looking at that. Next up, we have Jay Uso, and I, I think it turned out good as well. It did not turn out like the rhyming word. It looks phenomenal. This looks so good, man. Look at that. Perfectly cropped. I mean, he's looking like a hundred bucks. Looking great. Looking good. It actually makes the Elite 106 Jey Uso look better. Am I crazy? It just does. So the cut shirt and the cloth accessories today turned out amazing. The Dolph Ziggler and the Jey Uso. I'm I'm super happy about those. Like today turned out to be to be the first surgery back in a while. I think today was money. Like look at the Jimmy right here. This is the Jimmy Uso with the Elite 106 head sculpt, the hat, the chain, the shirt, the jacket on the Ultimate Edition, and this looks good as well, man. I mean I'm I'm pretty damn happy about everything that's that's going on so far today. The the Elite 106 head sculpt looks really good. The braid hair sculpt right here with the hat coming down. This looks so good, man. I mean, I know the hat looks a bit big on his head, but it still looks so good. That 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 new Jimmy Elite 106 head sculpt looks really, really good. So really pleased with that as well. We're three for three so far. Here is the promo gear Roman Reigns with the white out soles. And just look at the, I don't know, it's like something about the bare arms with the white shirt and the man bun, like how it looks right there, how it's like tight on the sleeves and like around his bicep. If he had a watch on, it would be pretty much perfection, but there's the side of the shoes. Dude, that looks so good too, man. I'm I'm just pleased, man. Today was a great day of surgery. Dr. Whitekus still has the flow. I'm, I'm glad to know that I didn't fall off a cliff. I actually, I still got it a little bit there. So I was actually talking to my wife the other day, man. I miss doing like painted customs. I haven't had an opportunity to do a painted custom in a long time. So uh, this is giving me some good momentum, man. This is great. Now, next up, we do have the Elite 106 Chad Gable fix up with the short Shorty G head sculpt, making him look a little bit more pissed off, and that looks good too. Now, it doesn't really fit the shoosh gimmick, but it still looks really good. And then we have the other version over here, and this figure, don't fall over Roddy Piper. This looks really good too. This is the Elite 59 or whatever with the Elite 106 head sculpt. Both of these look great. I mean, like, what? Let me know down below, man. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you think of all of these, but I think the Chad Gable head swap turned out just as good as we would think. This one is probably the worst fix up of the day, and it's just because I think. I think this head sits a little bit too high, but it doesn't look bad. It's still a quality, you know, elite Roddy Piper. I just, I don't really like this torso. The Daniel Bryan torso, it can eat shish as far as I'm concerned. I don't like it, man. I don't like this torso. I think that the Terry Funk torso would do wonders for Roddy Piper, but yeah, I mean, it still looks good. That William Regal torso would look really, really good on here, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look too bad. He's probably a little bit too tall as well, but nonetheless, Elite 106 Jimmy Uso in the house. Probably doesn't compare to the Ultimate Edition over here, but I, I, I don't know, man. Am I tripping, or does the Screaming Head Sculpt make this figure look better? It's something about maybe the portion or just having longer hair, but that looks really good as well. Now, I would like to get multiple copies of these red Jogger Usos, some black Jogger Usos, just to like mix up some sleeves and like some different fix-ups and stuff which we'll play around with, but the Jimmy Uso turned out pretty damn good. It's crazy because I didn't expect to have so many good-looking figures. I mean, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We did ten fix-ups here today, and I think uh, the the red kick pad right here turned out all right. Now, it's probably not as noticeable on this. Like, I, you know, it's just inverted kick pads, like the red face with the black backing, but it looks better from behind. You can tell from behind more than you can tell from the front. It just kind of looks like the same. And the reds, again, are a little bit off, but they, I don't think it's super noticeable. So I think the Elite 104 and the Survivor Series Elite finally got it. Look pretty damn good. But the last figure that we need to take a look at is Shazam LA Knight. And there he is. You can't tell me he doesn't look like Shazam. Look at this guy. He's about to fly the hell away. Just there he goes. So yeah, Shazam LA Knight, he's looking pretty good, but uh, I don't know. I like it from like the waist up. I think it would look better if he didn't have wrist tape. So maybe we could acetone that off or something. Something, but I don't know. We'll we'll live with that, and we'll we'll find out about that. But it doesn't look half bad, I guess. But I would like him to to be in his normal short boots and stuff like that. But that is going to wrap up surgery, man. Very very pleased with today's surgery. Very pleased with it. Ziggler, the Usos, Roman, Gable, Roddy, AJ, Shazam over there. 
all looking phenomenal. Did a great job today. Really good stuff. Pleased with the with the work here today, man. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up WWE action figure surgery for today, man. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you think of all the fix-ups, man. What do you think of all of it? Are you going to try some of it yourselves? I would greatly appreciate it, man. But before we get out of here, huge shout-out to our patron members of the EMDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support, as always. Love each and every single one of you guys over there. But follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Leave me all your thoughts down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and I'll see you next time.